Yo, what up, man? Chris and my checking back in, man. Back with another blog, man. Smack Volume 9, man. We definitely got to talk about this, bro. We definitely got to talk about this, man. You wonder where I'm at, man? I'm in San Diego, bro. San Diego, California, man. At the Lowe's, man. You know what I'm saying? With some concrete behind me. I don't know what all this stuff is behind me, man. But I had to pull over and talk about this, bro. I needed some lights. So I had to come over here. These niggas might be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, why this nigga, try this nigga trying to steal some concrete? But anyway, Smack Volume 9, man, crazy. Shout out to URL for this event, man. Shout out to these niggas, bro. But I got to talk about Sue Surf and New Jersey twerk. Bro, <sighs> Surf might be the most dangerous battler right now, bro. He, he He's literally the most dangerous person in battle rap to battle right now, man. And I got I got to get a nigga his props, bro. He came into the year not even being discussed. No, no list, no champion of the year, potential candidates, no top list no nothing man he was basically coming came into the year damn near analyst and literally he's probably in the champion of the year discussion man in the champion of the year discussion bro you got to think about this he didn't had nine rounds bro because i got him three three zero and i got him 30 and twerk bro i got him 30 and twerk. i'm gonna get into that in a minute nine rounds calico john john and twerk and he's eight and one in those rounds bro that says a lot for the level of competition he's, he he has right now. He's in such a zone, bro. He's the most dangerous nigga in battle rap to battle right now. Bro, before this battle happened, I'm talking to my homeboy. He's like, yo, I got Surf winning 3-0. I'm like, damn, you ain't giving Twerk a, a, a round. Now, I picked Surf to win the battle too, but I at least gave the battle 2-1 to, to, to Surf. He was like, yeah, man, I, I, got, I got Surf winning. I don't know who won the coin toss. I don't know. I didn't see the coin toss. I don't know who won. But when Surf was rapping, he's getting a lot of love, a lot of applause, a lot of you know, crowd cheers, the whole nine. And I'm seeing Twerk kind of pace. And I was wondering what was going through Twerk's mind because, you know, sometimes when you be watching, a, when, you, when, you go, when you go second in a round or something, you probably be hoping that the person isn't getting that many cheers to make it easy on you. But Surf is getting a lot of love in that first round. He, I felt like he put so much pressure on Twerk, bro. So much pressure on Twerk. And I wasn't even surprised that, that Twerk choked. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not anything that I, I want to happen or anything like that. But at the end of the day, man, when he had his first kind of stumble or whatever, I was like, oh, here it go. And it just, his, his whole battle was just a bunch of choking and stumbling, bro. His, his battle was sloppy as hell. You know what I'm saying? He kept bringing bars back. He kept saying bars over and over again, man. Hold it down, man. Hold, hold it down. Saying stuff over again. You could just tell that Surf put that pressure on him, bro. Surf's second round, bro, is like one of the best rounds I ever heard him spit. His second round of this battle, one of the best rounds I ever... Bro, he had a part in his second round. The nigga said something about my ops got it out for the blue. I got it infrared. Pfft. Come on. Come on, bro. Yo, this, this nigga second round, he has a stretch in his second round where he kept rhyming the same kind of word over and over again for like a long, it's like about, a, it's damn near about a minute and a half he has this little rhyme pattern. He brings it back or whatever. He's like, yo, let me get through it, man, for niggas be saying this gas or whatever. That rhyme pattern, it kind of reminded me of that rape, you know, that rape and shit, Asian dish. Da, 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 it kind of reminded me of that. When he get in that zone, he's unbeatable, bro. When he get in that zone, he is unbeatable when he's rapping like that because he already has the stage presence. He already can act out the bars. He already knows when to pause, when to speed up, how to, how to play this, turn this way, turn to the camera, say this or this. He got every other thing mastered on the stage. When the bars are there, it's, it's, it's a rap, bro. It, it's, a, it's a rap, man. And Twerk actually had a pretty good battle after the first like some of the a lot of stuff he said in the second round i know in the second round he was like kind of still stumbling a little bit his second round is actually pretty good it's just not as good as surf it's just not as good as surf you know what i'm saying it's just not as good as surf and surf third round it was to niggas don't need to battle surf right now bro i'm talking about like like the cortez is people people like cuban i've been seeing them argue with cuban online or whatever like, niggas just need to leave him alone. He's just in too much of a zone. And when you battle him in front of a crowd, it might be a wrap for you, bro, because you are in his element. And he's in a, he's in a zone where he's just too comfortable on that stage, bro. He's just too comfortable on that stage. So, shout out to Surf. You done entered into the Champion of the Year. I will do a Champion of the Year blog. I'll let you know if Surf even make the top five of my Champion of the Year and where he's at. I'll be doing that blog probably, like, sometime 
next week or or first of the year or something like that. So, um, but amazing, amazing comeback, bro. You know, from coming in basically being losing a forty, losing a Lux to the way he ended his year, I gotta give him his props. And I might need to take a little credit, man. And I gotta take a little credit, man. I gotta just say it right here. My battle record motivated him, man. Fuck that shit. I'm taking all the credit. I'm taking all the credit, man. My battle record motivated him. You can watch my battle record and say, oh, oh, you think I'm losing? You think I'm 6 and 15? Oh, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. But anyway, man, shout out to Surf, man. Next battle, I want to talk about B Dot and Charlie Clips. I got Clips winning this battle 2 1, man. I think I gave, you know, obviously B Dot choked in the first round, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, his second round, or he choked in the second round. I don't know, but I know I got B Dot. I know I got Clips winning either first or second or second and third or something. I can't remember what rounds right now, but I know in the second round, they both kind of like choked a little bit. Clips just had a better choke than B-Dot, bro. And know Clips, you know, a master of the way he does stuff. He kind of turns it into a freestyle, pauses. I'm going to do a whole nother scheme with it, freestyle. He's so good at freestyling, it kind of makes it seem like it's a written when really it was probably a choke, but he was able to get out of it. While B-Dot is just kind of like, oh, you know, my bad, y'all. Let me get it together. Like, B-Dot makes it an obvious choke, which is kind of a rookie mistake. But I guess if you can't freestyle and figure out a way to get out of it, it is what it is. B-Dot bars were better. He outwrapped Clips. He had a better battle than Clips outside of the chokes. But I got to keep it real. I got to keep it real. That's why you came to the channel for me to keep it real. I got to keep it real. I ain't feeling beat out like that, bro. I am not feeling beat out like that. He's getting very redundant. He's talking about a lot of the same stuff. He needs to mix it up a little bit more. He's very one-dimensional. I do like angle-based, battle your opponent, craft bars, strictly for you. I like all that stuff. But B Dot Man is a walking contradiction, bro. I gotta keep it real with you. He's a walking contradiction, bro. He gonna tell Charlie Clips, where were you when Nick Cannon was getting fired? Why weren't you coming at the white man? You wanted a paycheck. You only came at Eminem because because you wanted the views. So he's on his he's on his black and white stuff. Okay, cool. If y'all remember B Dot, when B Dot first came in, I think he was battling on like West Coast Elite. So he was battling on some West Coast League or whatever. I, first time I ever saw B Dot, he battled Danny Myers. I was like, yo, this nigga's amazing. Then I think he battled Daylight, and I was like, yo, this nigga's dope. And then Verb wanted to battle him, but he wouldn't battle outside of Cali. This was around the time when niggas was like, oh, B Dot won't travel, all this kind of stuff. O from Street Status was trying to book B Dot to come battle Verb in St. Louis, and B Dot wouldn't come. So niggas was saying he was scared or whatever. During that time, when he was battling on, on King of the Dot, Cortez and other people like that, he was dissing smack, bro. He was dissing smack because Norris was trying to give him a proven ground. He felt like he was above a proven ground. He wasn't going to do a PG. He wasn't going to battle for free and all this other stuff. He didn't want to do none of that. So he was dissing contracts, and he was dissing smack. He was dissing URL. His whole third round versus Emerson Kennedy is dissing smack. But who was he big up in when he was dissing smack? He was bigging up KOTD, bro. You know what I'm saying? He even said, I think in this round, like I got more money for this battle than I did on, you know, more about more money on King of the Dot than I did on this battle. It's the worst I've been paid, something like that. He was dissing KOTD. You see me looking over here because Lowe's workers are probably looking at me right now, like what the hell is this nigga doing over here? But um, he was dissing smack for KOTD. So now you're like, why are you dissing? Now you're telling Clips, like, yo, why are you, like, not riding on the white people for Nick Cannon? It's like, bro, you you on this black power, assalamu alaikum, black power stuff, but you was dissing a black company for a white company. You know what I'm saying? That's what you was doing. And right now, you're very loyal to Smack. Smack gave you a lot of battles during the pandemic, put money in your pocket, put you in a setting that damn near made you top tier and gave you a good light. That's why you don't want to battle on RBE. That's why you don't want to battle... Um, Mickey Fax, whether it's a small room, big room, ARP and already tried to say he'll give you any setting you want to battle Mickey Fax, but you want him to bring it to URL. The same thing you was against, which was contracts and battlers not moving around, you now don't want to move around either because Smack is putting money in your pockets. That's what's going on. You feel like if you go to RBE, battle Mickey Fax for one battle, you're going to lose your your rep or whatever you got over here and you may not get the looks you want so you want to bring mickey you want to bring mickey over there to so you're not you're not on a contract but you're kind of like mentally on a contract which was something you was totally against 
like about six years ago. You was like, fuck contracts. You should be able to battle where you want to battle, go where you want to go. And now it's like, you're not even doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you're not even doing that. So, um, and you was talking to ARP about battling Mickey Fax on, on, on RBE too. You, you was actually considering it, but niggas probably got in your ear and now you don't want to do it over here no more. So we know how that goes too. But so a lot of the stuff you were against, you're no longer against it anymore because it's beneficial for you. So I feel like a lot of that is a walking contradiction. I got him losing this battle and I don't really feel like he's had a great year to be real with you. Like he probably beat Suge, he beat Av, he lost this battle, he lost the DNA in my opinion. So I mean, he's had kind of an up and down year. But it's just the same old thing for B dot. The same old thing for B dot. And now it's like, who, who, who do, who do you want to see B dot battle, bro? Let's be real. Nobody. Maybe Lux, just for a mirror match. But it's not no battle that you like. Yo, I can't wait to see B dot battle this person. I feel like his style has gotten old fast, bro. This pandemic then gave him so many battles that he didn't oversaturate himself. He didn't oversaturate himself. He he doesn't do enough to to have. You know, 10 battles in two years or 12 battles in two years. They don't do enough stuff. It's easy to get tired of B-Dot in his style. That's where I'm at with it. I don't know where y'all niggas at with it, but that's where I'm at with it. Vixen versus Casey J. This, to me, was the battle of the night. I love this battle. Very, very dope battle. Very, very dope battle. Very, very close battle. I got uh, Vixen went in the first, Casey went in the second, and Vixen went in the third. And I feel like the last two bars that Vixen had in that battle won her the battle. I can sit here right now and tell you Casey J actually got slept on in this battle and she actually out wrapped Vixen in this battle, bro. Go back and, and if you write if you write the bars on paper, her material is better than, 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 than Casey J. Like line for line. But that doesn't always tell the story. So what happens is, is that first of all, Vixen goes second, which does help her because she's the last person to be heard. Also, she's more she has better performance and she's louder and she has be better like vocal projection. You can see Casey J breathing a lot, <sighs> you know, breathing a lot in the battle. You know, Vixen is kind of like in your face. Her, I feel like her delivery is better than Casey J. That helps a lot. And she has, she had more haymakers, bro. So whereas Casey J may have been consistently line for line better, Vixen was just pretty good line for line with her but definitely more haymakers. That line she had where, where Casey J was trying to talk about um, something about her being white trash, and then she was like, you know, you you don't you fucking the dude that do the trailers. Uh, what did, what did she say? The nigga that do the trailers parks in your pussy. Come on, man. She tried to she turned she flipped that trailer park white trash bar right back on on Casey. She did have a little too many Casey flips though. I ain't gonna lie, she had a lot of name flips. She kind of OD'd on them. You know what I'm saying? I like the, I like the, uh, I'm putting cases on all you, all you bees or whatever. I do, I do like what she was saying. I got her edge in the battle, man. And uh, what was a very, very dope battle. It was a, that was, that was a, a damn good battle between them two, man. Shout out to them two. That was a definitely good battle. I got, I got a uh, vixen with the edge on that. Uh, what's next? DNA and real sick. I didn't like this battle, bro. Scale to one to ten. This battle about a five and a half. I didn't, I didn't like it. Maybe it was a little too preachy. Maybe it was a little too, let me tell you what I did for the culture. Let me tell you what's going on with my grandmother. What you, you know, I hate what you know about bar. What you know about like having to, you know, take a two hour Uber ride over to see your grandmother and buy med Medicare. I hate them bars. Even though I respect what DNA was saying, I respect what's going on with his grandmother and all that. I just hate that style. I hate when people say what you know about this, except for like, should with the whole because he do it with the whole what's your life like what's your life like kind of stuff is, is sort of similar to that but what you know about and i heard i hate when niggas be like yo in this battle you said this but so and so said the same thing in this but i hate that style too so them are the two styles i hate and uh, i felt like we got a lot of that i feel like sick is getting exposed to bro he even lost his last three battles let's just keep it real he's not in the champion of the year discussion at all take him off your list he done lost to Av. He done lost to this battle. He done lost Pat State. He done lost three straight battles. And he's consistently good. That's it. He hasn't been great. He hasn't been great since he liked battle like Arson Danny. That's it. But he hasn't been. He's just been good, bro. He's been good. And sometimes good ain't enough to get you a, get you past top, top competition. But he's just been good. 
And that's it. I feel like he's getting a little bit a little bit exposed. A lot of these new era niggas getting exposed to. Niggas like him, Kid Chaos, Jaden Nightwing. Some of these niggas, they just getting ex exposed. They're battling a lot more and they're getting exposed. So I got DNA winning the battle 2-1. And what I felt like was damn near like a smoke break battle, bro. It wasn't even really that crazy. This battle wasn't that crazy to me at all. Like, I was low-key kind of bored watching the battle. I got to be honest with you. Uh, what else? Real name Brandon Shotgun Suge. I got Suge winning the battle, maybe 2-1. Real name Brandon maybe won the first or something. I'm not crazy about real name Brandon either. I, I'm just not. I feel like a, he had, he, I ain't going to lie. He, had, he did have some nice little slick little lines, though. I, I ain't going to front. He, he, he had a not. A few little nice lines are like, oh, okay, 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 okay. But he's getting the benefit of going first, bro. Like, the crowds are just super hype. You know, it's almost like you can damn near pee in a cup and niggas like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga actually peed in a cup. I feel like that's what's going on with Brandon, bro. Like, he ain't really, I be watching his rounds. His rounds don't even be too crazy. A couple times, nigga wasn't even rhyming. I was on his dot shit. I was like, damn, real name Brandon ain't even rhyming. That's what I was getting a, a little bit with his battles. So, Suge just showed his levels. Did like a little pocket check. I'm not mistaken or whatever. Suge just showed his levels, man. You know, at, at the end of the day. Real name Brandon had moments. But he, he can't do enough to consistently win. To consistently be good for three rounds. In my opinion. He, his style. I, I he, 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 just, he ain't nice enough. In my opinion for that. You know what I'm saying? He might beat. I don't know, bro. Like, he might beat a couple people. I'm not surprised he beat MVP and stuff like that. But I don't really see he ain't beating no top names in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even beating no mid-tier niggas, bro. Like, he can't beat, like, a nigga like Cortez. Uh, who else is probably mid-tier? Um, you know, some of these guys. He ain't going to beat Fonz. He's a lot of, like, people like that, he's not going to beat. They're, they're better than him. So if you give him a if you give him a lesser name, some crucible niggas, he'll do his thing. He got helped in the tournament because one of the one of the weeks he I think his his I think he was supposed to battle Piranha. Piranha didn't even battle. So he really didn't even battle as many times as MVP to get to MVP. MVP battled more and then had to wait because, you know, the battle, I mean one of the real name Brandon battles got postponed. So I mean he had even had help in the tournament, bro. So I'm not I'm not that crazy about him. Um, who who else, who else battled? K Shine versus Easy to Block Capital. Easy won this battle, bro. Easy won this battle, and it's just another trend that's going on with Easy. Definitely in the Champion of the Year discussion. I don't know where where he's at in the top ten, but he's on the list. This was a good battle by Shine. It was good to see him bounce back. Good to see him have a good battle, considering that his other battle wasn't good at all. You know what I'm saying? So he's kind of had two battles this year. Chilla Jones and Hollow the Don that haven't really been that great. This was good to see Shine back comfortable back doing his thing, you know. And uh, but at the end of the day, you're battling easy, and easy has been battling people that battle his style, you know, aggression, gun talk, street bars, gun bars, you know what I'm saying? So he battles who who he battled? He battled T Top, he battled Danny Myers, he's battled um uh, K-Shine, Chess. It's going to take somebody else to beat uh, Easy, bro. It's going to take a different kind of battler. You got to battle him a different way. You got to switch it up. You got to switch up your style. You he, Easy, <clears throat> I love Easy the Block Captain, bro. I feel like he, like his battles, I love watching his battles. Man, shout out to Easy. I love watching his battles and everything. He's on a run like T-Top was on a run. When T-Top went through UFF, went through the tournament, beat Snow, won a little $10,000, he started, he battled Suge, he battled Surf. He was winning his battles until he battled Goods. And Goods kind of like exposed. We already knew he was like talk a lot of kingpin talk. But Goods put it in a round like, yo, this is all he does and y'all are impressed by it. And then you was looking at T-Top like, yeah, this is all he does. Like we had an epiphany, even though we already knew that. It's going to take him to battle someone totally different than him to expose his weakness. He got a he got a weakness. He's good, but everybody got a weakness. And right now he's battling people that rap like he raps. He's just rapping better than them and he's being better than them. And he's hungrier than them and he's more direct than they are too cuz he writes for his opponent. It's going to take someone that doesn't battle that way to maybe beat him. And I don't even know if they'll beat him either, but it may take like a good 
You know what I'm saying? Someone that raps a completely different style. And A Ward, someone that raps a completely different style. I don't know who else right now, but it's going to take someone very different than him to beat him. Or we just going to have to get tired of him. Because right now he raps a lot about drug talk, a lot about jail talk, and a lot about street talk. But you can get tired of that. You can be like, yo, you know, incorporate a little bit more. Maybe some storytelling, maybe some whatever, like into your bars. And until he does that, until someone beats him that way, that's pretty much what's going to what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to really have to have to deal with that. This is old guy coming over here. He's going to interrupt me. Oh, I thought he was coming over here. Yeah, yeah, let me see. You nigga, you nigga looking at me probably like I'm crazy. I was about to turn the camera around. Fuck it. So it's going to take something like that. And right now, we're not tired of Easy Block Captain. He's doing his thing. But it will take a valor like that to try to make us look at him differently. And I don't know if it'll work, but that's the only thing that'll do it. Right now, he's just on a run. It's going to take someone that's either going to do what he do better than him. Maybe Geechee can get him or something. But he's just one of them niggas right now, bro, that you just don't want to battle. So I got him winning that battle. It was a pretty good battle, too. I came from it. It was a pretty good battle. And uh, who, who else battled? I feel like I'm, I skipped the battle. Am I skipping a battle? Maybe that's all the battles I saw. Let me see. Real name Brandon Shook. Uh, DNA Sick. Uh, Clips and B Dot. Surf and KCJ. I think that's all the battles I saw. I feel like I'm missing a battle though, but I, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm on the road. But that's my recap, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Stock drop list coming soon. Stock rise list coming soon. 2020 recap coming soon. Young Yo Untold Truth is out. Go check it out. Uh, I don't know how long it'll stay up because you know how niggas, niggas be on my ass. Quarter lab on my ass, man. But don't worry. I got a backup copy. I just re-upload it or whatever. Um, I'm not losing any views or any money off the video when they take it down. So I don't be tripping. I just put it back up. But uh, but that's what's going on, man. Thanks for the support, man. And um, I'll let your boy.